is the uh, Water Association? Yes, it is. Okay. And then, uh, so that means that your hot water heater is also going to be the association. So there's no hot water heater. We're going to have a boiler. Every so often, we have a boiler around here. So we a big pool heater. Okay. And that's what heats up the water for everybody. So that's great. Okay, this is the electric meeting over here. Okay. Your L3, so here's L3 here, and you've got 90 amps of, of power coming in, almost the same as a regular single story house. Um, if everything's dead in your unit, nothing's working, you want to come here, somebody shuts you down. Okay. Okay, that's where you come back and turn it off. Okay, gotcha. PSI minimums 40 up to 80 so here's the high end which tells we have lots of water pressure okay. should have plenty for everything now one thing we did note down is um, especially inside the windows um, that it's got some, like mildew inside the windows and I think it's all because of the sprinklers from the association are hitting it mm -hmm. so you guys want to you know contact somebody at the uh, president whatever somebody at the association and say hey can you have the landscaper come by and adjust my sprinkler down? It's killing my unit. Okay. Okay, because they probably just don't know about it. Right, okay. Okay, okay let's go inside. I did throw a trip hazard here, so keep an eye on that. Yeah, I noticed that coming. Did you put it on it? No, I just saw it. <laughs> There's no doorbell? Yeah. These closet doors are ill fitting. You've got to kind of do them both at the same time to get them closed. You can't do one or the other. So, oh, okay. okay. So you need a little adjusting on that. Uh, got the broken cover right over there. Slider rollers need to be cleaned and adjusted. Oh, I mean, you can hear it's hitting the water right there. Mm -hmm. So they need to adjust it on that. And screen damage. Okay. Okay, uh, your kitchen and bathroom all have the GFIs, these breakers. They're all working good. So if it's not, if it's not working sometime, that's out. Just push it back in and good to go. Uh, drawer guides are a little bit shaky, and I think it was this one here. So they're working, but the guide on this door shows where. Hinges, cabin doors aren't snapping back like they used to. This faucet's difficult to go back and forth. You need to get that freed up or you're going to break the nozzle. Now the light bulbs burned out. Oh, no, yeah, here's the switch where you see it's not coming on. Yep. Fan works. Electric stove and oven, everything's working good. Now here's the sub panel. I showed you your main outside. This is the sub. So if isolated things are not working, this is where we want to come. If any of these breakers are sitting in the middle halfway out, that's the one that's been tripped. Whatever you added in that area, take it back out, come back, reset it. To reset it, you got to go all the way off and then on. You can't just go on and keep kicking back on. Okay. And taking the cover off, you got copper from the main here, aluminum on the 220, which is proper, and then uh, all the rest is copper. Looks good. <coughs> On 
the furnace. It, it's an older unit. Um, you can see it's an older unit. 50,000, 53,000 BTU unit. It responded well, the controls, the flame pattern was good, our distribution throughout is good. We did recommend a, a flex line connector here, stainless steel one. Note this one here, if we had an earthquake, could break off on you, so it should be flexible on that. Okay. We recommend some caulking around the base of it so we don't bypass the filter. And uh, this is an improper vent pipe. It's supposed to be a solid piece. You can see they just put a flex in here and they use a hose clip, so that's improper on that. Because of the age, it's working, but because of the age, we did recommend the gas company to give it a safety check. Okay. How long do you think that'll hold in? Hold, how long? Like it before it has to be replaced? And it's, uh, well, average is, is uh, 15 to 20. Okay. And it's the original. So, how old is that one? 40 years. Okay. Just depends on how much it's been used. Now, the air conditioning coming through, it's working fine. Okay. So, just depends on how much people use it. But you can tell that it's been a while since I've been living it because this would be flexible on here. And then you wouldn't have this. Right. Uh, so have the gas company look at it, see what they think. Uh, I mean, it's working, but let's get a look at it. Okay. They're the expert at the end of the line, so that's what we want to get looking at it. Okay. Uh, hinges at the end. Let's snap them back. Pull back. Um, No sink stop, no tub stop. Tub valve is difficult to go hot and cold. It's real tight on that. It also leaks at the valve. Um, sour heads leak. Recommend refinishing on here. If you look close at this bread, you can see all these scratches in it. Right. So I think it's going to need to be refinished. So it's still leaking. Not much I can do about it. That's why it's been looking like this because it's been leaking. And uh, door damage and the door rubs. Okay, let's go to that bed and check out. Door rubs. <coughs> door rub. Window rollers are rough on the window. Let's see how that is. They, they'll load it for you, but they're going to make noise. And you see how you can see the mildew and stuff in here? Mm -hmm. Even in there. So that's why I want you guys to get on the. Uh, Landscaping out here to get those things down because right. it doesn't do your place any good. Okay. Missing the uh, bottom nose. And I'm unable to identify where the switch is going. Um, it's usually a top or bottom outlet that it goes to for your light. Mm -hmm. uh, but they've, in a, in a, over the years, they've replaced the outlets and they didn't break the little tab that separates the switch from the outlet. So right now, this is going to, it's working enough. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about any of the outlets. So you would have to pull the outlets out and see which one's got the red wire to it. And then that's the one you want to break the tab. Let me see if I can help you out. I'm not a great artist, <laughs> not even close. But let, let's say this is your your uh, outlet. Yeah. Okay, then you have your wires coming to it like this. Well, then there's a, a copper tab in between each one of these that 